What is going on everyone? It is Angry Gamer Online and today I am back with another car comparison. Today we have got the Invitero Coquette, the blue car on the left hand side and the Debushi Massacro on the right hand side. These two cars are very very similar within the sports car category and are both pretty much identical. They sound the same, they look very very similar. So first off we're going to start off with a drag race and for some reason the um, Infernus is there but that is not actually in the race, that's just driving along. And as you can see, immediately the Massacro takes a massive lead, and it's even beating the Infernus, which is in fact a supercar. So yeah, as we can see straight off the bat, the Massacro is by far the fastest car out of these two. The Conquette, even though it's not a slow car, is left for dead in this race. And now we see the Conquette come flying by as it finishes miles behind. So next up, a pushing war. We're going to see which one's more powerful. And we can also see here which car has more grip in the wet and as we can see immediately the Massacro pushes the Coquette miles really really easily like the Massacro doesn't even accelerate here and the Coquette can't even push it it just can't even move the car so the Massacro absolutely monsters that test and now we're going to do a, uh, a lap of Observatory Rush my personal track and I'm going to have them running side by side as you can see and and right from the start you can't really tell who's in the lead I think the Massacro may take a slight lead the Massacro um, does begin to edge into a lead a little bit further on however on these windy sections the Massacro is very evenly matched to the Conquette they're both very very similar they both handle very similar and they both have about the same amount of grip on a dry track however the Massacro has much much more acceleration and has a much higher top speed it is overall a much much faster car and I just feel more comfortable thrashing it round corners as you can see I don't even lift off even though I did go on the grass verge there in the Massacro I managed to stay full throttle and didn't even have to worry about that cutting that corner and the Conquer even though it's not a bad car it is still very very fast and it is in no way twitchy it's very very easy to control it just isn't quite as easy to control as the Massacro and on these, these sort of long winding corners as you can see the Massacro has taken a massive lead because just thanks to the fact that it's much faster and much more powerful we can see by how much ahead it is right now and on this hill section some of the smaller cars do tend to struggle and the Conquet it didn't struggle but it did struggle a bit more than the Massacro the Massacro didn't even wasn't even phased by that hill and I think on this corner the Conquet was slightly easier to handle around it however the Massacro is miles ahead now, we're in no doubt who's won this test. The Massacro is coming up to the final hairpin and the Conquer is only just arriving now. And yeah, as you can see, the final corner and the Massacro is about to cross the line now. Now the Massacro did it in a time of 1 minute 46.852 seconds and the Coquette did it in a time of 1 minute 50.897 seconds. So there is about a 4 seconds a lap difference. So yeah. Back to the two cars and me stood there. So on the whole, the Massacro is a much, much better car in every single way. However, it is more expensive. So you do have to weigh that up when coming to pick one of these cars. But however, I've, anyway, I've been Angry Gamer Online. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe. And yeah, see you in a bit.